Hey guys, what's up? Adrageous R here, and welcome back to Know Your Enemy, my weekly series of boss and guides designed to teach you how to kill the most fearsome creatures in RuneScape. In today's episode, we will be revisiting the graceful avatar of Armadal, Kriara of the Armadal Golf Wars dungeon, using the ranged attack style. Always remember that death is always a possibility, and in the God Wars dungeon, it is no exception. Only bring items and gear you are willing to risk. Other than that, good luck on your kills, and have fun! Knowing your enemy is half the battle when killing a boss in RuneScape. On screen now you'll see a list of information regarding the enemy, Kriara, including her combat level, life points, attack styles, weakness, and etc. Familiarize yourself with this information and move on with the guide when ready. Indeed, knowing your enemy is half the battle when killing the boss in RuneScape. The other half is knowing the objective of the boss you face, as well as the minions that will accompany them. On screen now you'll see the objective of the boss, as well as the minions that will accompany Kriara in the Amidal God Wars dungeon. Familiarize yourself with their stats, and then move on with the guide when ready. It's always best to know the attacks and special attacks that a boss can use against you, so that way you're always prepared. On screen now you'll see the attacks and special attacks that Kriara can use against you throughout the boss fight. Familiarize yourself with this information, and move on with the guide when you're ready. It's always best to make sure that you have the correct skills and abilities when facing off against a boss in RuneScape. On screen now you'll see a list of recommended levels and quests for the Amadal God Wars dungeon solo. Familiarize yourself with this information, and then move on with the guide when ready. Having the correct weapons and armor when facing off against the boss in RuneScape can mean life or death. On screen now you'll see a list of weapons and armor that are recommended for the Amadal God Wars dungeon solo. Always remember to use the best weapons and armor available to your levels, or that you are able to afford. If you cannot afford a certain item, then simply downgrade to the next best thing. The loot is always the most important part of killing a boss. It's why we kill them. On screen now you'll see a list of loot and rewards that you can receive from the Armadal God Wars dungeon. Take f uh, time to familiarize yourself with this, that way that you can know what to expect. Good luck on your kills, and let's move on to the setups. On screen now you'll see an example setup and inventory that you can use when taking on Kriara. Always remember to use the best weapons and armor available to your levels or that you're able to afford. Also take note that with this setup, you're using a limited amount of super restores in the inventory, so make sure that you pack extras in your yak unless you're going to use the next setup. On screen now you'll see another example set of inventory that you can use when taking on Kriara. Also take note that we are using the Bone Crusher as well as the Demon Horn Necklace. If you have this, you won't need as many rare potions, so make sure that you just pack Rock Tails instead. Now that you're all geared up and ready to go, it's time to head off to the God Wars dungeon. You can get there by using either the Trollheim Teleport Tablet, or the Trollheim Teleport Spell, or simply walking from Berthra. What I would recommend is if you've completed Ritual of Majorat, is to go into the Glacier Cave before heading off, this will give you a damage boost. Once you've done that, either hit the Trollheim Teleport Spell, or the Tablet, or run for a goat teleport to Berthra and go from there, and then make your way down Trollheim. Now, uh, once you get near the throw trolls, you are going to want to go ahead and activate your uh, protect from range. This way you can actually lessen the amount of damage that you're actually going to take from them. Um, what I would also recommend is if you've completed uh, as a first resort, go to the Ooglock pools and uh, get the boost from there. That way you can constantly run through the cold weather. Uh, make your way north and into the God Wars dungeon, and then you're going to want to make your way south to get inside the Armadal encampment. Once inside here, I'll show you exactly how you're going to get your kill count. Alright guys, once you're inside the Armadale encampment, it's time for you to get your kill count for the boss. The quickest way to do this is going to be by killing the Aviancies in the area, as well as the Spiritual Mages if you have the appropriate Slayer level to do so. The quickest way to do this if you're using the Infinite Prayer setup by using the Bone Crusher and the Demon Horn Necklace is by using Soul Split when your HP gets low, that way you can restore that and you can also restore your prayer points every time you kill one of the AV Ancies. So, simply start off by attacking uh, one of the AV Ancies first, and just simply use your abilities on it, use any abilities that you can use to heal, and uh, try to keep your health points high. Anything you can really do to uh, get the creature down quick will actually help you out in this situation. Um, your main goal during the uh, kill count is going to be trying to get up to uh, depth swiftness, uh, so that way you can actually uh, increase the amount of damage you deal to any of the creatures that you're attacking. Which is actually going to help you out quite a bit. Not only that, uh, Death Swiftness will also damage any creatures that are in the uh, vicinity of it. So, any creature that you're attacking at that time is actually going to be taking extra damage. So it will actually help you get your kill count a lot faster, 
and a lot easier. Now you'll also notice that there are some items that are being dropped by the AVNCs that are noted. These are adamant bars. I would highly recommend that you actually pick these up. Uh, reason for that is that we'll actually pay for your room entry if you actually go into the boss room um, using um, the instance area. So, once you've got your 40 kill count, uh, we'll go ahead and tackle what happens when you take on the boss. See you over there. Once you've gotten your 40 kill count, it's time for you to face the boss. But before you do that, make sure that you also have your quick prayers set up. Uh, make sure you have them set to protect item, anguish, and soul split if you haven't, and if you don't, simply use rigor along with protect from range. That way you can mitigate the amount of damage you're going to be taking. Now, if somebody already has the room that you're going to be using, go ahead and start a custom session if you've brought 200,000 coins along with you. Um, simply pay the 200,000, enter the number of players you want to go in with you, and then you will spawn in another room. Once you're in the new room, you want to go ahead and activate your aura and scrimshaw if you brought those with you. Go ahead and drink your overload and drink your prayer renewal. And uh, once you've done that, go ahead and switch on your quick prayers. And uh, what you want to do is, as soon as you hit side, go ahead and head over to this corner. Make sure you right-click Kriara on the way over. Now, once you're over here in the corner, you're going to want to go ahead and start off with Piercing Shot first, and then go ahead and move on to one of your other abilities. Make sure you are swapping back and forth between abilities, such as Piercing Shot, along with another, then back to Piercing Shot. That way you get a good flow of adrenaline, and you also have uh, constant ability use against Kriara. Because you want to make sure that you do this, that way he doesn't come into melee range. Because if he comes into melee range, he can hit like a Dragon Dagger, and he can hit twice, and he can hit up to 1100 with his melee attack. So make sure that you're avoiding that. Now, during this time, if you are using Soul Split, uh, always remember to use um, you know, your food. It's there for a reason. Uh, once you've built up enough adrenaline, of course you want to go ahead and hit Death Swiftness. That way you can actually hit like a truck against him. Uh, for 30 seconds you will deal extra damage as long as you are using ranged attacks. Uh, luckily for us, um, Sacrifice does count as a ranged attack when it's being used with that style. And um, if you implore this method throughout the kill, uh, and you do this through all of your other kills as well, uh, building up your adrenaline and then hitting Death Swiftness, uh, you will actually kill the boss rather quickly like I did right there. I ended up getting a coins drop which was not bad and uh, at this point I would actually recommend keeping soul split on and just taking down the minions. Um, now that kill did happen a little fast so I'm actually going to show you uh, what happens when you get a freshly spawned Kriara and uh, what you want to do in that situation. But uh, make sure that you do keep Soul Split on through the entire thing. That way you can actually kill the minions faster. If you want to uh, trick it and save your uh, drillin', then do so. Alright, so once the new Kriara has spawned, you want to start attacking her immediately. Always remember to reapply your Overload and Prayer Renewal as needed if they are about to run out. Make sure that you do implore the same strategy as before, switching back and forth between uh, Piercing Shot and another ability. And try to use Ricochet as much as possible, that way you get to hit the boss as well as the minions and try to get more HP back from your soul split. Uh, when you, once you've built up enough adrenaline, you want to make sure that you use Rapid Fire on the boss to get its health down faster. Uh, remember to use Ricochet as well as Piercing Shot as much as possible, and make sure that you are cycling through your abilities, trying to get as much damage on the boss as possible, as well as getting your adrenaline up. Once you make it up to Death Swiftness, go ahead and activate this, and uh, use an Adrenaline Potion if you have them. Uh, this will actually boost you up to uh, your 50% real quick, and then you can go ahead and activate Rapid Fire, which is actually going to take more than half of the uh, boss's HP at the time, and uh, that'll actually help you take him out fairly quickly. Um, again, uh, once the boss is down, uh, then go ahead and focus on the minions. Uh, I would actually recommend starting with the melee one first. Uh, you can actually use Fragmentation Shot on him, and if you do and move, uh, that'll actually increase the damage that you're using against him. For some reason in the video, it didn't work like I wanted it to. But just take out the minions in any order that you see fit, and whatever fits your style. But I hope you did enjoy this guide. If you guys did, uh, then feel free to click that like button, show it some love. If you want to see some more content from me, then uh, click that uh, subscribe button, and you won't miss one. Also, remember to like the links in the description. That's to my Twitter, Facebook, as well as my Twitch.tv. Uh, I will be doing streams on Sunday, as well as streams on every other Tuesday, and this week happens to be a streaming week, so I'll see you guys over there, and again, thanks for watching.
Peace.